All right, guys, welcome back to part two, Marbella Country Club. Uh, Mike is two over right now, I'm four over, and I think for the match, we are even, I believe, so. He's giving me three strokes again for the whole round, not just per side, but whole round. And uh, yeah, I need to start I need to start making some putts because they have not been dropping today, so. Anyways, hole seven here. Hole seven here is 150 yards, a little bit uphill, part three. And you guys can see where the flag is. It's pretty much right in the middle, but it looks like a blue, uh, blue flag, so it's gonna be in the back and the wind feels like it's uh, a little bit behind us. Big giant dip in the middle, so it's really like two small greens because the pin's very rarely in the middle there. So you got a pretty small landing area where the pin is right now. Where do you want to miss it for right. this? Right, okay. Yeah. yeah, if you're left, it's gonna all roll down, funneling you have a weird like double breaking 50 foot butt. Got it. All right guys, quick reminder, link down below. We're doing a giveaway for our Odyssey putter in this video series, so check it out. And there's multiple ways to enter through Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and uh, you get more entries, the more ways that you do it. So check it out. Big thanks to Callaway for hooking it up with uh, the putters and uh, yeah, making, making the giveaway possible. All right, on this part three, Mike and I both hit the green here, but we missed it on the wrong side. So we have a pretty big ridge between us and the hole. You can see it's going up about going up probably about three feet of elevation change from where that ball's at to the pin. Oh, wow. oh he's feeling it Great back bar. to back. Up. <laughs> Great. Nice up and down. Par four here, 468 yards, and uh, it's turning pretty hard to the right. You can see where those bunkers are, and that's kind of gonna be uh, my target line with cut, and I'm gonna just try to keep it over there on the left-hand side. But um, yeah, this one just doesn't really set up well for my, for my cut or Mike's draw, so it's gonna be a tough one. It's really good. It's really, really nice good. ball, dude. All right, guys, I tried to play a draw off of that, uh, that tee box because that's what it called for, and I didn't quite execute it. So, missed the fairway, uh, not, not too far over here, but look at that hill that I'm on. Thing is a uh, good, like, 18% 18, 18 grade right there, maybe more. But anyways, I, got, I don't really have an angle here, so I'm gonna David Toms it. I just got probably over about 200 yards left, maybe more, and uh, I got tree trouble between me and the hole, so I doubt that I can get this ball up and keep it up for a long distance. I'm gonna hit a seven iron and just, this hill's already gonna close the club face, so I'm already not gonna get much lawn, loft out of it. I'm gonna just chip it back out in the fairway. Mm. Mike hit a good drive down here. He played a nice straight ball, which was pretty amazing to see him play. And uh, center of the fairway. So I got 194, I think a little bit uphill, but the wind looks like it's with us, so I think I'm just gonna hit a hard six iron. Started off low and right at the flag with the draw. Looks like it's, looks like it's on the left side of the green. Got 115 yards left. I'm gonna just hit an approach wedge and go right at it and try to make par. Left side, drawing a little bit. Looks like it might be a little bit left and long. All right, Marco's just left of the green. He's got a little downhill chip, about right there. I did it. <laughs> Good five. That was like one of the best fives I've seen you make, buddy. Thanks. Good job. All right, guys, right now, after this nine, we're switching back to the TP5. <laughs> For a good comparison, we'll see how we shoot with TP5 on the back nine. And how the short game is, I don't think I've, I think that was the first time I got up and down. So, not very good uh, record right there. I think I'm out for three. 463 yard par four, straight downhill, and we're gonna go pretty much at the trees on the left and try to fly them. It's rude, it's good. It's really good. 
down the middle with a cut. Perfect. Looks perfect. So I got 154, playing about 140, all into the wind. I'm just gonna hit a little knockdown nine iron. Started right at it with a little draw. And pin high, just a little bit left, good shot. All right, I got 145, but with slope, it's about 127. I'm gonna just hit a nice smooth pitching wedge and uh, see if I can get it on the green. That's right at it. Okay, he's got about 25 feet right in front. Good speed. All right, so we're on hole number 10. It's a par four, 434 yards. Looks like it's a hard dog leg to the right. And there's a lot of trash all along the right side. So I think uh, hitting a good drive here is super important. Um, so we're gonna aim a little bit more left than I think normal. And I just have a longer second shot going in just to play it safe. We are switching back to the TP5 for this back nine. See how we do. The Chrome Soft X was a little bit too firm for us and kind of the feel around the greens was not what we're used to. I think the Chrome Soft is gonna be a probably good uh, test versus the TB5 because this one was just a little bit too firm. Lower ball flight for sure, especially for your for you. I mean, it was noticeable. Yeah, and so. I, you know, I already have a low spin rate, so I think this kind of <laughs> just compounds uh, even more with uh, the lack of spin that I have. So I might need something with a little bit more spin that is a higher launch. This is more of a lower launch, uh, you know, lower spin. So I was hitting the ball a lot more piercing, a lot more, you know, obviously a lot lower. So. Yeah. Yeah, it wasn't the right fit for me, and I don't think it was for Marco either. The one good thing that I really liked about this ball is off the tee it was less spin, right? So my fades and, and draws and whatever, any way that I missed the ball, it wasn't as drastic, which was really nice because I hit a lot of fairways, and that was a plus, but around the greens and kind of the feel aspect of it, um, not the best fit. So looking forward to trying the Chrome Soft. Dude, really? Get out of here. 63 Marco's in my uh, face with the camera again as usual. What are you gonna hit, coach? Uh, I think I'm gonna hit a smoothie eight iron off that nasty side hill lie that I got. All right, let's show you guys the line here. Mike hit a good drive there. He got twice as high as uh, his uh, best drive up to this point, so that was a positive. But he's got, you can't see. Two for two and up and downs with the new ball. <laughs> All right, guys, we're in number 12 right now. Drivable part four, 285 yards. And I think it's playing a little downwind too. So you can see there's just a ton of bunkers, one in the middle of the fairway up there. And uh, yeah, I think Mike and I are gonna just take a rip at it and see if we can get there. No birdies yet today and we're de desperate in need of one. What's going on today? I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> I haven't made a putt. I haven't uh, hit a lot of good shots into the green. So just a little bit off, but um, I feel like we're gonna get a couple birdies on uh, on this hole and uh, on part three, so uh, stay tuned for sure. Perfect. It is a brisk 98 degrees out here right now, so we have been just sucking down the waters. With like 70% humidity though, yeah. which is what's sucking the, the life out of us on the, on the first two parts. But it uh, seems like there's a little bit of cloud cover coming in, so if, if we can get a little bit more of that, it sure would be nice. We're grinding, boys. We're grinding. Almost hit the green on that one. It was just right in front, so I had a great drive there. All right, Marco's got a pretty easy chip. Just got to get it on the green with a little spin, and it should be good. All right, I think he went for the make on that. He's got about eight feet coming back. So it wasn't ideal, but I like the aggressiveness. Yeah, there it is. Boom. There we go. Off the snow. Yep, boom. Nice. There we go. Finally. <laughs> At least we called something that we did. Yeah. You know? When you, call it, when you look at it on the scorecard, you're going to. Supposed to be a birdie hole. I know. All it took was a little ball swap, you know. <laughs> and what do you know? And one under. Later, we're making birdies. <laughs>
No, but no disrespect to Callaway. Big thanks to them for helping us out. They're, they're sponsoring the giveaway, so down below, guys, you're gonna find a link, and we're doing an Odyssey putter giveaway, so make sure you guys check that out and get entered. <laughs> we were super aggressive off the tee. We just said, you know, why not hit a driver? Uh, you know, I threw mine in the right side, green side bunker, and I had a pretty tough bunker shot, so. That was a great bunker you know, shot, dude. For me, that was a really good side hill uh, bunker shot out of there, and I was able to make the putt, and, you know, got, got one back, and uh, I think I'm back to two over, and, uh, I'm I back think to you're four over. Five, I think, over. Because I bogeyed the last hole. Okay. So back to five. But back still, five. making birdies and uh, feeling good. I got the right ball in, in play right now, and it's a little bit easier. So, not questioning whether it's going to kind of fly sideways or do some weird stuff. So, yeah, the ball flight's back to normal again. Yeah. So, I think we're, uh, we'll be okay on this backside. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned for part three.